Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to work on a mandala again, guys. Sorry, I'm a little obsessed. I created this one. This was the last board I had of the 10-inch, I believe this is 10, and I did kind of create it on a paper first, which is a good idea. Look at my yin-yangs. I ended up not going with that. Uh, what is that called? I guess it's called the yin yang. Um, but it's a symbol of balance, which is so important in my life. And I, I just wanted to represent that. But then it went a different way, um, which happens. Uh, I did the sh the shading a little differently too. I didn't use the the smaller tool. I just used the shading tool. But what I want to do today is add a little color. But I'm going to add gold. I want to see what it looks like if I just add a metallic gold, which I'm going to use Dazzling Metallics Glorious Gold. And I, I know I have another one, but I think this is the one that I like. Here it is. This is called Metallic Gold Gloss Finish. This is by Plaid. Yeah, it's this one. It's the Deco Art. And not all golds are created equally, and I have lots of other metallics as well, but for today, and the technique I'm going to use is not going to need a lot of paint because, guess what, shocker, I'm going to float, and floating really doesn't take very much paint because the process is a kind of a mixture of paint and water. Yeah, I don't even see my metallics right at the moment, so it is... Glorious gold for now, and I have plenty. I'm going to use my angle brush, palette paper, and I'm going to just try and use this little corner of this palette pad. Let's see. I'm going to use my squirrel half inch angle brush, faux squirrel. See how it goes. Because this is not now, now that I've burned it on it. It's not as smooth of a surface as I generally would if I was painting. So um, it's a little rougher, and I just feel like this may hold up better. So let me put out some paint. Make sure you shake it. Put it out on my palette. And corner load. Work it into the bristles. Kiwi is with me. I'm not used to using this brush. It may hold... All right, now I'm just going to start adding. I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to put the color into the center and walk it out. I probably don't need as big a brush. Now the idea is that the color graduate out and it's not just coloring it in. That's not my intention. But I am using a bigger brush than this surface and I have a heavy hand so just turns out I get color everywhere but guys I'm thinking it looks gorgeous I think mandalas are kind of spiritually they have a spirituality about them that reminds me a lot of um, Mendy I think that's the right name for it and it's the Indian art of um, when you use, um, I have some, I think. Anyway, and, you, and everyone, they do it when they celebrate. They write all over each other. Anyway, I had some. Maya gave it to me. Uh, anywho. Um, and they are very much about uh, gold and jewels, you know, and all that stuff. So... I think gold plays nice in this type of design. Um, I'm not sure that the camera is going to pick it up, but maybe I'll just talk to you while I'm doing this. So I ordered two more 8-inch, 212 and 214 of the wood, but last night I was on Pinterest and guess what I saw? Mosaics. Not polymer clay, but regular glass mosaics, which I have tons of glass in my basement. 
and I have lots of scraps and the type of um, mandalas I was seeing were done with I mean there's a couple different ways you could go I could just do my design like this I could just cut out like make a mandala and then cut the glass this size but I could also fill this in with a bunch of small pieces and make it more mosaic-y but I think what I want to do is start with a small and just make kind of squares of color and then maybe bigger ones so if I cut the glass this is what I'm going to do first anyway I'm probably going to just use my 10 um, inch wood and I'm just going to do a mandala I don't know if it'll be as fancy as this but you know I usually go big or I go home so I never start basic I jump right in I hold my nose <laughs> but I I really do I just go for it you know what I'm thinking these little um, shapes these uh, what are they kind of like strokes comma strokes almost or teardrops need to be filled in but I'm going to do my sun area with the gold and see what I'm saying like it's the burn area is stopping my brush from floating across but it's still working so I'm going to do that this just occurred to me because I don't know I guess I am starting to go with what my spirit wants me to do, my instincts. I know a lot of you are hoping I go back to clay, and I'm sure I will, but right now I think it's just not where my heart is. There's a lot of things about creating that are... Um, very very helpful to me as far as feeling good about myself and just feeling good in general so I am very lucky that I don't have to use this as a source of income or um, I don't know I if I get you know I monetize my videos and I do probably get some income from that from you guys watching but it's not my goal is what I'm saying so when I create it's more for me to um, get some peace and serenity and from the process. So my mind goes to, if it feels good, do it. But if it doesn't, I won't do it as much. And, you know, when it becomes repetitive or like a job or I'm, I have to do it, it's not, it's not what I want to do. I want to do it because I need to do it almost, you know. Um... So that being said, polymer clay, I may have done all I need to do with that right now. That being said, I said that twice so far in this one sentence. Um, something could inspire me again, and I'll have to do it. But for right now, it's not what's calling to me, to my creative kind of part of me. And so I'm sorry. I can't force myself... Um, and I mean, at, at one time I kind of thought that's what my channel was going to be, um, you know, that I kind of was here for a certain purpose and that I needed a certain amount of views and I needed this and that. And, you know, if that's not what I'm providing for you guys, my subscribers isn't, if you want polymer clay, then go find your polymer clay, go get it where you need, you know, that's what I do. I kind of, um... I go after what I want and meanwhile I'll be here when you need me um, doing what I do and right now I'm just kind of doing these mandalas although I just ordered um, a tote bag from Tracy Moreau's uh, website it's like a it's a sugar skull I think it has a rose and it may say something but I'm not positive um, and so I'll be painting that like painting I think I'm really glad I came back to it and remembered that um, I just love it it's part of it's what started me on my crafty journey and um, 
I think I'll always do painting, but polymer clay kind of came along by surprise. It was, a lot of you guys know already that I did, I uh, went to a bead convention, a beading convention when I first started beading, and I don't know that I'll ever do beading again. You know, it's just one of those things. I, I just love trying new things, but it doesn't mean that I'll always do it. Anyway, um, Lori Micah was there, and I took that, um, what is it, the mixed media mosaics class with her. I was lucky, and I loved it, and it sent me on a journey with polymer clay that I never knew I was going to go on, but I stopped now. And then I also was... Um, doing a lot of paper crafts and I had all the stamps and stuff so they they kinda go hand in hand I was able to mix some things that I was playing with at the time so I'll, I'll get back to it you know what I'm almost guaranteed that I'll get back to it because that's just how I work I like I can't do something the same thing over and over and over I just get bored I guess so, um, and you know, I still see a lot. I've never tried silk screening. There's a lot about polymer clay that I don't know and that I haven't tried. So that's probably what will end up happening. You know, I'll be like, I'll just be inspired and I'll be like, I have to do that. <laughs> and I'll just do it. I will do what it takes to do it. Um, because, yes, yeah, some of those silk screens are gorgeous. And uh, I'm sure they would make wonderful mosaics as well. But um, a lot of times what inspires me is the finished product. Like, I want to make that thing. And all the rest of it that comes into play is like a bonus. But I get, I finally have to get to. So what do you think? get to make that thing. I think I'll fill in all these. I loved these little circles that I did. Isn't that cool? You can't see the gold on camera. Let me see. It's very, very subtle. So maybe I'll cut this short. Um, so what else was I? So yeah, I recently, I'm just going to keep talking for a minute. I recently, or no, it wasn't even now, I think the last time I went to France, which was like last summer, I think, we went to Ikea and I bought, um, I want to say like five or six of those frames. They're a square frame and they have a mirror in them and I got black and I got white and it's a great substrate. I think I was thinking more towards uh, polymer clay mosaics with those. But now I'm thinking regular glass mosaics. Um, and because I just saw this stuff last night on Pinterest, I have so much scraps, so uh, many scrap glass that um, I can just take an hour or something and just cut strips of my scraps and make little cups of color so maybe I would say like half inch little t square tiles or something out of my scraps and then I'll be able to just throw together something colorful on some of those frames and then maybe even add a mandala here or there or, or shapes or words something you know and um because we did just clean out that section of the basement and summer is a great time to go down there because it's cool it's very cool in the basement like today it's not that nice out it's like well actually it's 71 now it actually got humid um it's about four three it's quarter to four o'clock on Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day weekend, you guys. Time is flying. It's going to be June. It's really weird because with the coronavirus, I don't know what we're doing. Um, Kiwi is on my shoulder. Just 
grinding her beak. She's very chill. Um, but anywho, I'm where I love being home, and I hope you all are happy and just taking it one day at a time and realizing we can't control it and you know just make the best of it as best you can for me that's easy to do because I I'm in good shape but I know there's a lot of people who struggle and you know I hope that this will come to pass and we'll all be okay after and all that good stuff um, so I had an also I had another request to do a paper version of this mandala which I could probably do like a tutorial Oops, of a paper version of this guy it's very easy it's not um, very complicated because the way you get this six surfboard design is very it's just with the compass so um yeah you can see the gold when I back up I like it um so I could do that and then you could each just make your own mandala like mine um yeah Peggy um suggested hi Peggy that I could always photocopy my designs as well and then I could sell them that way or at least I would if I sold the original I could always have my design you know I wouldn't because I said they're they're all like my babies and I I need to possess them for a little while um, anywho I haven't done that or I don't know that I will but it is a good option but for the, for now if you wanted it you could just I could teach you how to do it yourself and then you could make your own which that's what I love to do I love to make my own I mean we should support the arts and the artists as well I'm not against that at all but for me maybe I'm more of a teacher than I am a cre a, um, a businesswoman right you know what I mean or whatever I just feel like I'm drawn more to sh teaching you how to do it than I am doing it and then selling what I do. I don't know. It's just seems like that's how it kind of comes out of me. I'm going to add a little bit up here just to take it all the way out. So I have it in the center, this little part. These are painted then here, then here. That's what I want to do. I just want it to flow out. It kind of is missing right in here. So I could probably float here too, but I think I'm going to just finish with, oops, heavy, little heavy handed there. Um, finish with this area. Oops. Because if you teach, let's see, I could get you the fish, but if I teach you to fish, you'll eat forever. I don't know. What is that saying? If you... I don't know what the first part is, but by teaching you to fish, you'll never be hungry, right? I mean, I can sell you what I'm selling, but I like to share. I think that's part of it for me is I just like to share what I'm so that you can do it for yourself. Uh, it's always been weird for me to sell my stuff. I just don't know. My dad used to get frustrated with me because he was a salesman that was his line of work and he saw that I could always talk to the people very well and that wasn't a problem like at craft shows and all that but I would rather bring them in and show and like you could do this too I totally used to say that all the time I'd be like it's not that hard because they'd be like I could never do that I'm like yeah you really could if you tried I could show you how <laughs> And he used to get so frustrated with me, but I, I don't know, it just felt so weird to me to like take money. But I do understand. I appreciate it. I know, and not everyone can do it. I understand. It's just not my thing. I like to share what I, what I know. 
and that's it guess what I think it's a success you can't see it but I can and it looks pretty you know what I think I'm gonna take these little dots well they're not dots they're circles I'm gonna grab my stylus real quick and I'm gonna make I could probably make a decent sized dot too but let's see if I just keep me I think I want a bigger dot I think I'm gonna use the end of my brush let's see how that what's the matter what's the matter Kiwi you also get dimension when you do this when you do it this way it kind of leaves a little bit of a raised and it it just adds texture I like that I don't know if you're gonna be able to it's subtle but I guess for this for this video purposes it's not the best you're not going to be able to really see and you can do this with regular color it doesn't have to be a metallic um, I just really wanted to kind of see what the gold looked like I love metallics too by the way like um, anything shiny and I'm pretty sure it was Shirley see that's the thing Shirley sent me a rose gold pencil mechanical pencil and I lost it and it makes me so mad because um, I tried to replace it I might have given it to Maya I don't remember but I really love that pencil so I can't see me giving it to her but you know that's what my moms do they give stuff to people but anyway um, I have other metallic pencils since then she just turned me on to it <laughs> um, Shirley's my guardian angel ooh that was a big one anywho um so yeah you could do this with white it would probably look so good too I really loved how the white popped on here so maybe I'll be back with a tutorial for um, how to make that mandala it's not hard and you can do it that's what what does Barb Owen say she says be creative today because you can something like that and you can it makes me feel better I love it so much and um, I'm lucky to have you guys as my creative community um, sharing what we love and what gives us serenity and um, Kiwi loves it too <laughs> she's my little sidekick but I think I'll call this one done I think I might add let me see I need more paint but in here where I made the dot um, I burned the dot I think I'm gonna go over that with the gold paint and see what happens right here oh man that's popping I think it even pops a little better because of it being on the dark I have to be careful I already stuck my finger in it the other thing about creating this way is it's mine and I don't have to measure up to anyone else's expectations only my own and because I've given into the process and just being in the moment there is no wrong anymore I'm, I'm only doing what feels good and if it feels good how can it be wrong you know um, so that's where my head's at anyway doing this so let's see did I finish Oop, I didn't finish this one last one I didn't do over here all right, you guys, I think I'm going to call this done. And I'm going to varnish it one more time. I Generally, when I finish burning, I'm going to go up. When I finish burning, I take it out front and I do a coat of matte varnish. Just a spray varnish that will kind of 
seal everything because when I've tried to paint my varnish on I've pulled some of the burn some of the the darkness has mixed in and it I don't like that I want it to be you know whatever so just doing that and then after you've done that then I can go back in with my um, paint on I'm going to do the center And wherever else I feel like it, I might add one more dot. So I have a center here and then the outside. So that kind of ties in everything. Um, I, nothing's calling to me to add a dot to it. So I think my little experiment with metallic gold has come to, oops, one more dot here. I think it's a success. I feel like I did what I set out to do. I'm just checking to see that I filled, because I didn't put um, paint on all the bubbles, but at least the top three got one. Um, I think I want to put one right here because that kind of just looks it, it didn't have a dot it was just where my lines met but I think it it kind of makes it look a little more together and I do think that having the burn under it really makes the dot pop as well where it's not looking as popping on these little areas up here when I've done it on the dot so over here those looked really popping Oh, the other thing I could tell you is my camera. Something's going on with my camera. When I try to upload, I have to create a little extra video so that there's always two because it'll just shut down. It like crashes if I try if I just op have one video and I try to upload it, it'll just crash. But if there's two, I can choose the one before the last one and it'll work. I can't I can't explain it, but anyway. So I might need a new camera. I am very cheap and I don't want to get a new camera because I like my camera and it works just fine other than that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I like it. I don't know if you guys it's not popping on camera, but I think I've accomplished what I set out to do. I love it actually. It makes me happy. So there it is you guys. I'm going to be back with more creative stuff. Alright you guys? Happy Memorial Day. Thanks for watching.